Hey, what's up guys? It is Lime from Variety Gaming 101, bringing you a very special video. So, as you can see by what I have here, I'm going to show you what I found about a month or two ago, but I didn't really think it was that big of a deal, but I looked more into it, and it's, this stuff kind of bothers me. I only, I'm, you know, I'm not a big YouTuber, I only got like 2.3k subs, which isn't a lot compared to most others, but I'm surprised I had an impersonator when I just got, when I found this out. So, I uh, did a little bit of research a while ago, and I wanted to bring it to you guys because I thought it'd be better if I showed you, like, just give you guys a little bit of, um, uh, not knowledge, but just to keep you guys aware because it seems like no matter how big of a YouTuber you can, or even small, you can have impersonators, whether it be, well, even when I had my website running before, which I brought it back, I'm just going to make a video today about it. This was, yeah. So impersonators seem to be everywhere, especially on Steam because it's just a great scamming technique for them, I guess, or whatever. But So I was doing a little bit of research. I was, sometimes I like to Google or look around my, my YouTube name and my username just to see what's going on. And then I ran into this. Uh, there was something on Steam Community Cbix, which is the guy that owns a site called CSGOCoinFlip.com. And I saw this. Variety Gaming 101, 18 hours ago, added to talk, which was January 11th. That was the next comment, I think, was January 11th, but I can't see the date of that. But So I was like, huh, that's weird. I never commented on that, and I've never had my Steam name as Variety Gaming 101. So that was January. Here it is. January 12th is when it was. I think it was... Let's see. Yeah, this was the, the, the comment before that. It's not always in order, because Google... This is like a an old, uh, like, uh, Google index, whatever. So this person named Element said, added to talk. I'm like, huh. Click on their profile. And, uh, so that was January 12th. Keep that in mind, right? Australia. I'm not from Australia. I'm Canadian. <laughs> Click on this. Their names are all kind of the same. So I, and I looked up the name history, and it was changed multiple times, uh, throughout the course of a few days. I guess it's hard to cover it up. And then I saw this. January 11th, both, both around January 11th, uh, the same day in the morning. Plus rep nice YouTube channel, plus rep great YouTuber. No other comments said anything about that. Huh. Seems a little fishy, right? So I added this guy named Razorbite and I talked to him. He said he couldn't really remember or he I don't know, that's not what he said. He said uh that he, he was just asked by this person randomly, who he doesn't really know that well, to say, Hey, can you put plus rep great YouTuber or whatever on my profile? So he went ahead and did it. But I think this was an impersonator for me because of this and also I found a Reddit um a Reddit user named Variety Gaming One without the capital V. I always use proper caps, and that 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 is a dead giveaway for someone like me. But I don't even use Reddit. I mean, I I have my the Lime One here, but I don't even like I rarely use Reddit ever. I I don't like using it. So I'm like, huh? PM'd you regarding sponsorship and also emailed. A little weird, and that's by well, who's supposedly me, right? If that isn't like I don't think that's coincidental, really. And this was deleted, but this was the by the person named Cbix, I believe. So that's uh. It's a little weird, like really sketchy, and it uh, that person might even element might even watch this video. Who knows? But it scares me a little bit just because you gotta you guys really gotta be careful of what you're uh, who, who you're um, like. You gotta make sure you got the right person. So if you own a site like I do, make sure you got the right people. Make sure you have proof of who's who because oh, it's just it's just crazy that someone like me, as small of a YouTuber as me, has an impersonator trying to get a sponsorship under my name so they could rip them off or whatever. It's just. Just kind of blows my mind, you know? Yeah. Kind of have a, a scumbag thing to do, you know? <laughs> so I just thought I'd bring that uh, little bit of uh, knowledge to you guys because I want you guys to be careful. And I, yeah, like I, I remember that, I kind of just rambling on now, but I remember I was going on uh, Steam Community, let's see here. Go here, go to Community. I searched up a thing and I was like CSGOWealth.com just to see what was going on. I like to search because I like to know what's going on. This is my second bot that I had never... Um, had never uh, set up. This was the original bot for the site. And then I was going through here, and originally I was looking through here, and I saw a and it's not here anymore, but there was a CSGO Wealth bot number two that wasn't mine, so I guess it was trying to scam people, and I had mentioned, I had some people mention to me that there was um, there was a CSGO Wealth bot trying to send them trade offers with stuff they had never tried to set in, so that's a little bit weird. So all I'm trying to say, guys, is be careful. Like, if you're a Steam user like me, and I love trading, you know, I love I love buying and selling items, just make sure you got the right person. I try to be very transparent with you guys, but then there's those dumbasses that go and try to scam people. Like, yeah, slash the lime one. There you go. It's never going to change. It's always going to be my my URL. And you guys, it's not hard to find me. You go to the CSGO Wealth Steam group, and I'm the owner right there. Not hard to find. But yeah, you just, you guys got to be careful. I just, this, I don't want, I just, I, don't, I know I'm treating you guys like, but some people like, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but 
you guys got to be careful. I know not everyone's stupid, but some people are, and I'm just trying to look out for you guys because this, I just, that would fucking suck. It just pisses me off that someone tried to get a sponsorship under my name, and who knows if they did. I don't think they did, but it's just kind of shocking, you know? And they said, send you an email, so that must mean they have made a fake email with my name. Uh, I have an email specific for Variety Gaming 101, but it's not that, so... Yeah, so just keep an eye out, guys. This is all I'm trying to say. I'm, I feel like a freaking detective right now, but I'm just trying to look out for you guys. So, uh, tell me what you think about this. If you guys have had any impersonators, I'd love to hear your stories. If you guys want to share a comment, I, I'm curious because this kind of stuff hasn't really happened to me before, and it's a little bit uh, mind boggling. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this is kind of pointless, but I hope you guys get what I was trying to say, and I'll see you next time. I'm still going to make that video about the site today, so keep, it, keep, out, keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. Peace.